You know, we need to chat about one cement company, and then I'll want your view on the cement stocks as well. Uh, Mr. Aditya Sarogi, the CFO at Bidla Corporation, joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Sarogi. Good morning, and thanks so much for joining in. Well, you came out with your set of numbers in the past week itself. The question is, what's the way ahead from year on? So could you tell us, for the year, you were guiding for around 15% volume growth. It looks like you're pretty much in line in the first half of the year, though there'll be some slowdown because of the festivities. So do you stick to that 15% volume growth, point number one? And the second factor is the EBITDA per ton. For the first half of the year, it's still sub that 700 rupees. You were talking about 850 rupees. You're sticking to that? Good morning, Nigel. Thank you for having morning. me on the show. Uh, in terms of volume, yes, we are sticking to our guidance of 15% uh, for the year. Uh, I think we are in track to achieve that. And in terms of EBITDA per ton, yes, our EBITDA per ton for the uh, first half of the year was lower. But that was expected also because uh, various levers uh, that we are expecting uh, will mm. pan out gradually over the course of the year. These include the higher volumes. Uh, in second half of the year, uh, slightly better realizations. We had some price increases uh, in the month of October. We expect those to sustain in the remaining part of the year. Uh, Mukundan operations have been uh, ramping up pretty well. So that okay. will aid our profitability coupled with the fact that we'll expect to start getting the incentive in Q4 of the year. Okay. And uh, last but not the least, uh, we have initiated various uh, uh, internal programs like manufacturing excellence uh, under project checker and achieving uh, optimization in our sales, logistics, and marketing operations under project Unati. Those, right. those will pan out and aid to our profitability in the quarter. All right. Uh, Mr. Sarogi, you have to call that point. So operating leverage will play out, your cost cutting as well, cost focus, as well as price increases. But 850 yeah. rupees means for the second half of the year, you'll do a number closer to around 1,000 rupees? Or are you saying for the second half of the year, you'll do 850 rupees? No, no. 850 in the region of 850 is what we are uh, targeting for the entire year. Not for, for the, the entire year. That means second half of the yeah. year, you'll do around 1,000 rupees to get an average of 850. Uh, whatever, yeah, whatever it comes to between 900 and 1,000, whatever it comes to. Got it. Okay, we have cleared that. Well, since you mentioned Mukudban, uh, sir, could you tell us how things are shaping up out there? I think you were doing 150,000 the last time, you know, as of uh, September. How do you see that Sorry. ramping up? What will Mukutpan's contribution be? And what is the EBITDA per ton over there? Yeah. So, uh, in terms of uh, both cost and volume, uh, it's a very good story. I mean, uh, in terms of volume, in fact, uh, it is achieving our expectations. Uh, we had uh, uh, given guidance that we expect to exit this year by 2 lakh tons per month. Uh, yes. We are now expecting that we will be achieved, uh, able to achieve that level faster than that. And uh, the costs are also continuously coming down uh, uh, by mm. each quarter. So, mm. uh, so uh, each quarter, the profitability of that uh, unit continues to improve. And uh, on top of that, we expect to start uh, uh, getting the incentive also in that unit. So definitely Q4 will be the best. Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so that incentive will definitely help your profitability. Just a quick question on the price increases. You're basically focused in central India. What is the price increase if I compare the average price in quarter three in comparison to quarter two? How much is that increase? In quarters, in the month of October, on an average, uh, the price increase has been around 3%. 3%, and that's sustained? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, you know, the... uh, uh, in, uh, yeah uh, but, uh, because of these festivities, there was some slackening, but uh, now we expect uh, the prices again to uh, firm up. So you're going to push through another price increase? If yes, by how much? No, uh, the prices uh, that were increased in October, there was some slackness because of festivities. Now we expect to uh, go back to the October level. Okay, but you're not expecting to push through another price increase. You're saying that 3% is good enough for now. In the, in the immediate term, uh, I don't think so, but uh, uh, definitely uh, going ahead uh, towards yeah. the end of Q4, Q3 and beginning of Q4, definitely I would expect some further price Got it. Final question then, sir, before we let you go. The net debt number in your books, that's worrying some analyst. You know, you have a CAPEX plan. You're saying you're going to be setting up a grinding unit as well at an attractive uh, number, the 400 crores odd. Could you tell us what is the peak net debt number 
I want an absolute number, sir. I get that net debt to beta sub 3 is what you've been mentioning in the past. The absolute number, what could it look like? The net debt number, and since now profitability is going to improve, say by the end of FY24 and FY25, what can your net debt number look like? See, uh, our current debt as of September was around 3,550 crores. Mm -hmm. We expect to end the year with debt levels uh, around, these, around these levels. Okay. And uh, with the EBITDA that we are targeting, so we will be comfortably below the uh, debt EBITDA of three, which is what we uh, expect to achieve on a sustainable basis. And by FI25, so, this debt is, has this debt peaked out? And by FI25, will you start deleveraging the balance sheet? Say, bring it to sub 3,000 crores. Is that a possibility? Uh, we don't, neither we don't look at absolute levels as we have uh, uh, guided in the past. We look in terms of debt EBITDA ratio. Okay. Uh, we always maintain that uh, we would like to have our debt to EBITDA ratio within three. And that okay. we continue to that, we get uh, we uh, keep uh, getting guided by that uh, ratio. There are a couple of assets, I believe, that are on the block. And you're at 20, 21 million tons, you'll be at post this expansion. And you want to get to 30 million tons. Are you looking at any of those assets? Uh, not right now, Nigel. I don't think oh. uh, we will be able to uh, uh, achieve that with the data with the guidance that we have mentioned. Got it. It's been good speaking to you, Mr. Sarogi. Thanks so much for joining in. So, broad takeaway is our volume growth of 15% is well and truly on. The EBITDA per ton will spike up to around 1,000 rupees on an average for the second half of the year. That's what will bring the average for the year at around 850 rupees odd. And inorganic growth is not something they're considering as of now, but debt will hold at around this 3,500 crore level. For the